Hi, I'm Maciek Krula and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. This is uh, part 2 and we're still retouching um, beauty. So we open our uh, picture in uh, camera row and uh, then in Photoshop it still uh, shows us that it's a camera row file. Uh, that it's still a raw file. So uh, the first thing that uh, before we do anything uh, will be uh, just uh, saving. So uh, let's uh, save this uh, as a tutorial. Mm, tutorial and uh, as a PSD, so which is a Photoshop format. And uh, let's save. So uh, this way we have uh, our file save. Uh, always I, I leave a background uh, copy and uh, I duplicate layer and this is how I start uh, working uh, with uh, with the photo uh, whatever I want to do because in this way I have um, still original copy so if I do something uh, that I don't want to, to have and it's still not uh, not in uh, history uh, I can still come back come back to this uh, two rules always save a copy and uh, always keep saving uh, that is the most important uh, thing uh, in a Photoshop because you don't want to waste a uh, few hours of your work because you didn't save a file and uh, for example your computer crashed so mm, let's uh, let's start uh, what, what I always do is uh, I make a background copy so uh, right button duplicate layer and its background copy so everything that I do uh, I will do uh, in this uh, on, on this uh, copy so I have original one always safe okay let's zoom in and let's see what uh, we're dealing with um, so this is the the picture and uh, from a close-up we can see how many details uh, there is uh, and uh, what we have to retouch uh, from really close uh, distance. As we can see there is a few uh, imperfections in the skin and we have to remove them and there is a head that I didn't see during the, the shot. Um, there are some pores that uh, colors that we have to remove. Uh, nasal hair um, Obviously, this part it's very annoying, and uh, I want to remove it. And um, this uh, over here, those few mascaras, mm, and um, let's just remove them. Let's see on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and uh, now uh, we know uh, what we're dealing with. And uh, what I do, I always empty, uh, put an empty layer on the top of uh, wh what I'm doing. And then uh, by uh, working with, uh, I always say, I can work with uh, all my changes I can see as a separate layer. So what I start with now uh, will be just removing those uh, few imperfections. And uh, by doing this, I go to Healing Brush. Uh, it's a very powerful tool, and uh, then I work with uh, all layers. Okay, so in this mode, what I can do is uh, I can remove those few uh, imperfections that I can see, that we can see here. Uh, and you can always see under and over uh, what, what we do. So uh, let's remove those few imperfections. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to uh, how to work with the file. That it's nice to to see the uh, the changes. And uh, unfortunately, I cannot play the music uh, for you because I don't have any that is allowed. Okay, and uh, let's see what we what we have uh, here. So we have those uh, few imperfections over there. Um, as a start, 
uh, what we do it's um, we are working just with imperfections we don't worry about colors and um, and, and uh, uh, fixing of that because mm, uh, what we want to do is it's just to work with colors uh, so for those who don't know how to how this tool works it just checks um, the texture and uh, and coloring and uh, shadows and uh, always go to aligned because if you don't do that you it keeps taking uh, props from from the uh, from the parts that from always uh, from the same part as you can see here it's always very annoying so I prefer to to keep this as a line and uh, and then just remove those imperfections we don't go uh, too deep into into skin uh, because the skin is quite alright the whole idea of retouching it never uh, show that you do something and uh, and uh, that's a whole idea some people still keep uh, retouching the way that uh, you know uh, we we did a uh, few years ago uh, quite a few years ago it's uh, copying and blurring everything as you can see here we we don't do that we just go part by part and uh, we just keep removing this and um, removing all the all the imperfections that we have bits by bits bit by bit and uh, here we go and uh, and it takes hours sometimes remember this is not um, high-end retouching it's a uh, Still better than uh, most of the of the ways that uh, people uh, keep doing, and, uh, and you can see by we can preview what we changed with this layer, and we didn't uh, damage the the layer that is underneath. Healing brush works quite well, and uh, it just has problems when we get to the corners of the two different colors because it's um, hard to for for this tool to understand what we want to retouch and uh, what what should be removed. So we just do that mm. when we have when we have problems. We still keep the uh, keep using clone stamp which is really a simple tool but uh, very efficient if you if we want to remove something uh, I would leave the skin the way it is uh, here it's uh, because it really has all the details in the skin and there's no much damage that we have to fix so uh, everything still uh, will still look natural and very nice. Okay, so that's uh, wha wha that is what we do. We just keep going really deep into skin details and uh, and we we, we we retouch them. Okay, and uh, we can copy this layer um, once again and make another copy uh, that uh, we just go crazy with curves and we can see details uh, of, of a skin so what we have to fix all the uh, all the imperfections that are more visible for us but we still work on this one okay and if it's invisible we just work with that we leave some uh, facial hair like those tiny 
pieces there because they they look quite right and uh, they look natural and we all have facial hair on us we shave them off and, and uh, that's what we do we just keep uh, keep it natural as natural as possible it's a it's a very natural picture and I want to keep this feeling of uh, of getting uh, something that is uh, natural and uh, unretouched really and that's the plan This is simple and um, and the basic retouch that still looks uh, better than most of the uh, uh, of retouching that uh, there is available and uh, and this is how we do it and what we can see here it's a it's a pattern uh, this is something that we uh, we never show uh, we like to avoid uh, any type of patterns because patterns are unnatural and uh, you can see straight away uh, uh, that something was retouched so we try to avoid that um. let's see if we remove this wrinkle how it's gonna look like if it's gonna look good or, or bad I'm, I'm gonna leave it for a second. Okay. And remove uh, this part. Uh, 